we are set to go. Racer alumni band on hand tonight. I'm going to talk with John Fannin, who retired after 25 years. He's going to come over and visit with me at halftime. The opening tip controlled by the Racers. Gets it to the left elbow. That's Burns. Gets by his man with the offhand layup, and it's good. Inside with a bad pass. Touch pass goes Williams to Hill for the high arcing three, and it's good. Line guarded by Branson. Rocks it back and forth. Shoots a three in his face and hit another one. Rock the baby, didn't he? And pass comes to Brown. Now Hill corner three. Can he make three in a row? Yes! A lot of rim, but it stayed in. Off to Juice Hill. Nature's up 12-6. Screen from McMullen. High arching three, and he made another one. Hannibal inside. Nowhere to go, but Williams top of the key three. He hit it. KJ Williams spotted up in his favorite spot. Left, Brown dumps it down low to Skipper Brown. He goes up and a two-hand stuff. Dunked right on top of him. No good. Back of the iron to Guan Smith. Coast to coast. Lays it up and in and drew the foul. Screen from McMullen. Gets Hill free inside. Offhand layup is good. And off to Hill. Near the right elbow. He's going to take it down low. Flips it to Burns. Puts it up and in on the lane. Hannibal at the free throw line, swings it left side. Hill, a corner three, and he got another one. Now it goes to Brown. Juice Hill sets up for a three, drained it, and a new career high for Juice Hill. For Thompson, and there to intercept it, it is Hannibal. Pushes it up the floor, goes inside, put it up and in it. It's nothing but the hands of Skipper Brown. Hannibal, right side for the alley-oop, one hand, slam dunk, Brown to Hannibal. You gotta be kidding me, how did he catch that basketball? What a pass. It's Hannibal directing traffic. Skipper Brown sets a screen, he goes inside and stuffs another one. There's the buzzer. He is trying to knock the paint off that rim, Neil. I mean, he is. Aggressive going to the rack. Post up on Thompson, takes it in the lane, ducked into a double team, but goes up with the left hand and hit it. Hill, elbow extended, finds Williams. They leave him wide open for the three, and he drained it. Able to at least tip it to Hannibal. Brown, corner three, good. What ball movement by the racers there. 45 racers. McMullen, right side, Brown off a screen for another three, hit it. And he'll throw out top to Hannibal. Drives the lane through two defenders. Offhand, or the right hand layoff up and in. Comes away with it. Daquan Smith goes in. Finger roll up and in. What a beauty. Four. Hill, one hand to the pass to Collins. Bounce down low to Williams. Loses his man and hits the floater on the baseline. Beyond the right, left elbow. Finds Hannibal. Step back 17 footer. Good. Down to Burns. Right side Brown. Inside it's AJ up and in. It rolled around the rim. Knocked away, Hill's gonna get a steal on the sideline. He's gonna spin inside, throws it off the glass and in, what a play! No, he didn't, he spun once, oh then spun it off the glass. And a foul, knocked down. Took the timeout in the game, and Jackson Sibbles, Skipper Brown gets the steal, high bounce, he wants to go in and stop it! Oh my, I thought he'd lost the rhythm of it, and he got up and stuffed it in. Goodness gracious. He went up, I thought he was going to stuff it with his left hand, and he went back with his right. And 6-6. Six, six. Now Russell puts it up, back to the rim, wasn't go. That'll do it. Skipper Brown gets the rebound to round out the game. But the Racers open OBC play with an impressive 106-81 victory over Southeast Missouri.